Hello YouTubers, Treasure Detector here. I have not made a video in a while and I thought that I would make a video of something that is very dear to me and that is my multi-tools. Period. Now, I do not work in construction and I am not an electrician, but I have been known to fix things when they need fixing and I have found multi-tools invaluable. I have uh, fixed my motorcycle with it. I have fixed a 1951 Farmall tractor, got it running again with a multi-tool. I have fixed cars. I have fixed washing machines, dryers, treadmills. You name it, I've fixed so many things using nothing more than a multi-tool to disassemble the appliances or parts needed and uh, get the job done. So I find these tools invaluable and I'd like to share a little bit with you about each tool, uh, what their positives are and negatives, if any, and uh, what I feel uh, they're good for and how I've used them. So if you'll bear with me, I would like to share a little bit of that information with you today. I'd like to start off with the multi-tool that started it all for me. I'm going to move a few others out of the way here. The first multi-tool I got was this one. I believe it was gifted to me by my wife. And aside from my daughter, probably one of the better gifts I've ever received. In my early 20s, I would take this with me everywhere. Um, whenever there would be a school function for my daughter, I would always have these and uh, very useful, very durable, made of high quality steel. Um, the screwdriver, the Phillips, is uh, excellent, um, has never faltered. Uh, the other tools are very good as well. Um, the blade is simple. Uh, rudimentary but efficient. The pliers are very good, although um, for wire cutting um, it doesn't have uh, the extra bits that most multi-tools with wire cutters have nowadays. But this is kind of like the granddaddy. This is the one that really got things going and started it all. And there have been others. As you can see, here's a grind mark from where I was grinding and I was holding this up, holding something else up to a grinder that I was trying to uh, uh, grind a piece of steel for my motorcycle. And I got uh, the multi-tool a little too close to the grinder right there. and It's got some grind marks on it. But this is a workhorse as all my multi-tools are. This is a very good tool. The pluses of this multi-tool is that it is compact, um, easy to carry, light, everything that's on it works really well. When you get it, it comes with this leather pouch that I kind of engraved with my name and I uh, have some stickers on it or a sticker from my daughter who used to come by and, uh, and uh, talk to me while I was working on my motorcycle and she gave me a sticker and it's been there for about uh, 10 years. Um, I think it's an Angry Bird character. Um, wouldn't go anywhere without this. Excellent tool. Nowadays, when I take this bad boy, I usually take it in this uh, Don Hume magazine character. Magazine uh, holder. That works well too. But uh, Or you could just put it in your pocket. Excellent tool. The granddaddy for me. Got me started with these. After that, you know, I started thinking, well, there's other multi-tools out there that I really like and my wife gifted me this one. This one's called the Leatherman Juice. Now, this one is what I would call a little foofier than the other multi-tools. As you can see, it has been used. I, I did use this. Unfortunately, I found that this multi-tool does not stand up to the rigors of, of uh, tool usage as well as uh, my original Leatherman. As you can see here, the flathead screwdriver bent on me on a particularly tough screw. So that failed right there. I'm noticing that the steel used for 
for this particular tool is not as good as the original Leatherman. So I kind of set this aside and I haven't used it very much for that reason. Um, I told my wife it's sentimental value because I don't want to damage it. But truthfully, it's just not as good as the others. It does have some good things. It's got a corkscrew, you know, for people who drink wine, I guess. Uh, it's got this uh, bottle opener. It's got uh, a very good blade on it, actually, serrated. It's pretty good. File, scissors, you know. It's got all the things that most Leathermans or most multi-tools would have, a nice little blade. But like I say, this is more of an uptown multi-tool that if you don't have something better, it's nice to have around because it's better to have something than nothing, right? Um, I keep this around uh, just in case I can't reach anything else, but ultimately, I have others that I like more than this one. And the reason I like this one the, the most is, is uh, one of the reasons I like this one as much as some of my others is because it was given to me by my wife, whom I love a lot. And uh, and for that, it has sentimental reasons. So I'm never going to get rid of this multi-tool. I'll take this with me to the grave, even though it's not as good as my others. So we're going to set that one aside now. Now, after that, I started thinking, well, you know, there's got to be better ones out there, right? There's got to be better multi-tools out there, bigger multi-tools. And I've seen some of the other Leathermans. Now there's the Leatherman Super Tool, right? <clears throat> I used to have one of those. But uh, it was just uh, not very interesting to me. Might as well. It was just a bigger version of the original. Um, just in comparison of size, I want to show you this SOG multi-tool. This is an SOG power lock. And... Uh, I like this especially because of the mechanics. As you can see, it's got these little teeth, these little gears. And when you open it, the gears kind of move. So I really like the mechanics of this multi-tool. But it's got lots of good features. As you can see in here are the wire cutters, which do work well on it. And uh, uh, the wire strippers, I'm sorry, wire strippers. And uh, you got yourself a file. You got yourself a bottle opener with a small flathead screwdriver on there. And your Phillips is on par with the Leatherman. You got some other little tidbits here, your flathead and this pick. And you have the scissors, which I haven't really used, so I can't testify. I don't know what this thing is for. It says one-fourth, so I'm assuming that this would go into a one-fourth uh, type of a uh, type of a space and you can use it as if it were a one-fourth bit is what I'm thinking now here we have the blade which is heavily sharpened and heavily used because I'm not the original owner of this multi-tool I'm actually uh, the person that bought this in a flea market so consequently um, I'm not the original owner so I cannot attest to how that knife was used, but I don't use the knife on this because uh, this is just, uh, to me, these are mega pliers. And uh, the wire cutters up here, fantastic. The, the um, pliers, they're fantastic as well. Um, really like the way this feels in your hand. This is a tough multi-tool. And like I said, this piece right here, where the gears just kind of turn up against each other is very aesthetically pleasing to me because it just fits perfectly, right? So I like this very much. I keep this in uh, just some type of pouch and sometimes I do take this out. And um, this other one here, I could never really find something that fits it real good, so I keep it in this pouch that I have whenever I do use that, but rarely use that. Now, I also came across these. I don't own many Gerber tools or knives, but I like the mechanics of some of these tools. And this is a Gerber multi-tool. Um, I believe it's the 600. I'm not sure if that's the name, but I believe it might be the 600. Notice that the pliers on this one slide. By pressing these buttons on the sides, they slide, get ready for this, up, just like that. 
that to me is quite cool. And uh, here, of course, you have your wire cutters. Down here on the bottom, you have a wire stripper. Um, it works like other multi-tools in the sense that you can pull these tools out. There's several different tools here. These are Phillips, or these are actually flathead, different types of flatheads. There's a bottle opener. These themselves are, I believe, not used with the same high quality steel as the Leatherman. They feel thinner to me, uh, not as strong. Um, but for what it is, it's good. So I do not know what that is for. <laughs> it might be to put a string through. I'm not sure. Go fishing, maybe. Who knows? Uh, bottle opener, the Phillips. These again aren't don't appear to be as solid as those in the Letterman. Leatherman, I'm sorry. Uh, it does have a nice little knife right here. Again, nothing too impressive. But um it's good to have. Good to have one of these maybe in the car. Um I do like that it's in military black. I like that very much. Um these here too are also very useful because when you pull these tools out and then they're in the lock position you cannot close it you have to uh, pull down on this lever and that allows you to close the tool that you're using and get ready for it that's why that's exciting to me basically but it's pretty good I don't have a pouch for this so I generally put this in a pouch like this this is for a shred knife a big shred knife and close that also found this generic looking pouch that I use to store it in as well because it's kind of bulky and big. Um, do like it very much as well. Now recently I found something else and I bought an eBay lot. And in that eBay lot I came across this multi-tool. Now I'm very nostalgic about this multi-tool because this takes me back to the beginning. This is called a Tools All multi-tool, and it's made by a company called Crescent, which is a tool company. This to me is a wonderful uh, combination of all the qualities that I like in that other multi-tool. Strong steel, as you can see. The pliers are specifically for an electrician. There's good teeth right here, but here you can strip different sizes of wires, and they're very strong. Um, made in the USA, of course. It's a very attractive multi-tool. The size is very comparable to that of the original Leatherman, and it is actually from the same era as that. Uh, this maybe came about, ooh, maybe... I think a few years after the original. Um, but as you can see, um, the quality is very good on that as well. I'm gonna leave that out. Now, in this multi-tool, which is I think mostly for an electrician, I don't know what uh, this is for right here, but it has a very good serrated saw, as you can see. Um, the Phillips screwdriver is I think on par with the Leatherman or better uh, quality. You have, of course, the bottle opener and hook. But here you have a file, never been used. And this thing is practically brand new. The knife is actually pretty good. It's small, very sharp and serrated. Um, I just got this, I'm very eager to use it. Uh, I've been using it for a couple little things, a little bit of wire stripping here and there. Um, very impressed with it. Very impressed with this multi-tool right here. And um, I like very much that the pouch, it's very stiff because it hasn't been used, that it comes with, it says tools on, and it can be worn horizontally or it can be worn vertically. So to cap things off, there are many good multi-tools out there. There are some that might serve you better than others do. But depending on your needs,